Hello everybody and welcome to Penfold Plays, The Handyman and Co. Let's continue where we left off. It was our first game, let's, let's be completely honest. Alright. Let's do some contracted work, get these guys back, because I'd rather them get tired now and then not go on holiday, thank you. Alright. Can we research some more stuff? Rich backstory. I'm always a fan of rich backstories. And there's Train Marco again. In tech. G3 Code Game. Pixel Cup. Let's decrypt this. Very special armor. Sabotage. <laughs> Let's do some sabotaging. I always like to sabotage stuff. Alright. I don't want to do that. To train. So, Law Sim 2000, very disappointing. <clears throat> We're a dirty company, the Handyman and Co. Sabotaging our competitors for the sake of it. But why not? Why not indeed? Why not just sabotage everybody? Alright. Let's uh, do more contracting work. Go. So, disappointing sales. Yeah, like we could do that. Debug programming, I'm sure why not. And here we go. This is what we wanted. We need to go and develop a sequel to uh, Call of Noobs Battlefield. Call of Noobs Battlefield 2. It's not going to be a large game because I don't think we can do large games. Uh, Dream Vast, yes, I love to play. Get it. Got our engine ready. Go for it, guys. This is the first time we've made a military action game on the Dream Vast. It's the first time I made anything on the Dream Vast. Really, so. Can't really do that. Can we stick advanced cutscenes? Yeah. Can't really stick everything on gameplay, so let's get rid of character progression because it's only an action game. Look at that, just mastering the tech. This should be a more tech game. The Master V was supposed to be taken off, but it's not been. I think that could be a glitch. Uh, let's choose a uh, medium booth. I'll hype this game. Hype it. Alright, dialogues, definitely me. Uh, level design, Patrick, artificial intelligence. Marco. Go! Long day. Ah, theme hospital. That little post on the right. story than the open world. You know what we haven't done is we haven't marketed it at all. So market this market this. Large cap. And I know that Call of Noobs and Lost City 2000 are coming here at G3 so that should uh, hype everything up. Come on give us more numbers. It's one of those rare times we've gone to G3. That's pretty cool. Let's release a magazine and demo. Here we go, we're over 200. 
There we go, the fake the Sega Oasis is gone. 2.2 million pounds. Pretty good. Go and get those bugs out. New records on everything. Release it. Send you on vacation, guys. You've you've all done a fantastic job. Call of Noobs Battlefield 2. Again, another 10. Fantastic sequel. 10. 10. And a 9. Eh, all games. Stop it. And we'll generate a game report for it. The Handyman and Co. have released a sequel to their game, Call of Noobs The Battlefield. The newest game in the series entitled Call of Noobs The Battlefield 2 was met with an outstanding responses. Critics play praise that the new Call of Noobs Battlefield 2 had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. I agree, it was fantastic. Look at that. Rank one again, making us money. Brilliant. We've just got word that Call of Noobs, the Battlefield 2, has racked over 500k in sales. We should be able to move into our new office pretty soon. There we go, it's platinum now. There's a lot of good surprises waiting for you in Call of Noobs The Battlefield 2. The game responds to the player in such a realistic fashion. Ah. It makes you sometimes forget that it's just a game. Simply one of the best games I've ever played. Let me go we can do multi genre now. We'll research AI companions though first. Go on, Patrick, do stuff. That's yeah, still rank one. When can we move into our new office? Ah, so there we go, it's dropped to rank two. Alright. Let's look at what we can make. So that's already fantastic. It's made more than uh than the original. Rabbit World, Dead Man Walking. What was Dead Man Walking? Most of collective action, I don't think we're ready for that. Let's make the Handy Pirate 2. Handy Pirate 2. Medium. Um. That's got to be a glitch. Unless it really is that popular PC. Oh. Well, the Master V is coming off the si off the line, I think. So, here you go. I read it right. Story and quest. Let's stick everything. Advanced cutscenes and branching story. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of the video playback and uh, game tutorials. Can we stick that in? Better character progression is probably more. And we'll stick that in. Yeah. Right. Lucy's going on there, and I'm going on there. And uh, Marco's going here. Trying to get to our new office as fast as we can. Very important that we do. Dialogues max, minimum, almost non existent. Do I take away the better AI? We can still fit that in. Um, you know what? Patrick can do this. Patrick has this entire phase. Because this isn't really a heavily technology driven game, it's design focused. And here we go, the PlayStation 2 is coming.
Alright, well designed. This is when, um... This is when Sip... <clears throat> Sip will come in. Quite happy with that. Go. The Master V is no longer supported. We made one game and it made us 10 million pounds. Uh, let's market this. Small campaign. Uh, magazine and demos. And the Dreamvast has become one of the fastest selling systems, but it's now slowing down because the PS2 will replace it. Like history said. Alright. Get those bugs out. The M box <laughs> by Microsoft. Alright, good work guys. New record in design, that's good, because this should be a heavily focused design game. Release it. Special training, we'll get we'll get around to these special trainings in due time. And we'll generate a game report. Alright, let's see if the handy pirate does us well. Ten, brilliant. Ten? We're doing really good games as of late. I'm quite happy about this. Ten. And a nine. Hmm. Well, thank you. Watch this. Here we go. The Handy Pirate 2. Rank 5. Brilliant. Alright. Let's uh, develop an immediate sequel to... Um, Holy bleep. Holy bleep. To. Doom. Holy bleep to Doom is a action horror. PlayStation 2. 3D engine craziness. Go, guys. The Handy Pirates made 500k in sales. Fantastic. Alright, engine is super important to slip. You're back on that. Uh, pretty much like this one. Stick all this thing back in. Advanced cutscenes. The stick just. It's just stick simple cutscenes in it. Stick gameplay tutorials back in. So, uh, Lucy, yeah. And George. Go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, surprise hit of the year, The Handy Pirate 2, by The Handyman and Co, is a perfect example of how dialogue in a game can be so much thrilling than a movie or a book. At every stage I felt like I had choices that was really driving the story. To The Handyman and Co, keep up the hits please. Colon. Smite, no, smiley face by Jorgen Longer from Game Nova. Oh, adventure games are very popular. Well, that's going to help us. If it's really popular, we're going to hit quite good sales. Let's do some hype. Hype this. Look at that. It's a platinum game now. Yep. Thank you. Alright, dialogue is pretty much not important. Even better AI, thank you. And uh, we'll take out... Uh, we'll just put better dialogue in. Um, let's stick me on there. Let me see if you can go on there. Yep. Come on, slip. Do your thing. Second, give. Sorry about that. We're gonna have to call the episode very soon. I think we'll do it after this. Uh, slip cannot do that, so we'll put Marco on there. 
But Lucy can't do that, so we'll stick me on there. And uh, I think we're okay. Yep, game. It's all very important. Uh, medium booth again. And let's hope that everything takes a while to get out. Uh, magazine demos, please. So we made, we got 64. We got a lot of money. What we really need is G3 to come around now. Uh, we made 15 million pounds in sales, and here's G3 to boost up our hype even further. After this game's out, we will call it a day. We'll call it. Well, we'll call it a. Um, we'll call it a uh, episode. It's not going to be a particularly long episode, but oh, we made it into the top 100 at 98. Brilliant. Because we're fantastic. But I just had a call, and it's a very important call. Alright, special training. 3D V4. Doesn't look too good. At 8. 8. It's not the best sequel, I suppose, but. Uh, oh, definitely not. 7. And a 9. So it's not, it's not exactly a bad game. Eight. Going to do us very well. Oh, we can self-publish large games now. That's how good we are. But anyway, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you so much for joining us here on Penfold Plays Game Dev Tycoon. Join us again next time. Um, I apologise if there's going to be no thumbnails to these. Um, I will try my hardest. It's I'm having quite a big problem with Photoshop at the moment and a lot of my editing software. So uh, I've had to reinstall it and stuff. So join us get. So it may not be have a thumbnail. Uh, but anyway, join us again next time. I've been Penfold. Good night, everybody.